Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on MM1 Mute Master. In this video I like to go through how the sequencer works in Mute Master. So let's create two audio channel, one and two. <clears throat> let's select a fire player for both audio channels. And uh, let's select um, a song that um, uh, for each of the file player. So let's click on this button to browse our side. Here we have for uh, my composition done in Core Gadget. Let's choose Fantasy. And for the second audio channel, let's choose uh, something else like um, <coughs> Innocent Richness. Okay. Then let's click on the audio effects and let's scroll down, type MM to search for Mute Master. Here we go. Let's load the second instance as well of Mute Master. MM to search quickly. Here we go. So we have two instances of Mute Master, one for each channel. So let's configure the basic. So <clears throat> let's make sure on the, on the first audio channel, the channel selected is one. Let's also add some fading that will help. And also on the second channel, uh, let's ensure that the channel true selected it is. And also let's add some fading, uh, some fading like that. So let's go back to the first instance. Double click on the wind and header to maximize it. So as always, let's configure a little bit the pattern. Let's have two pattern. The first one, which is already selected, will activate the channel number one. And, and the second one will activate channel number two. And also let's set the last pattern to uh, effectively two. So we will uh, switch between one and two. <clears throat> okay, so we are going to play with the sequencer this time. So in terms of pattern source, we're going to leave it as sequencer. Um, okay, it is on the sequencer selection at the moment. And um, uh, let's also configure the uh, sequencer division in terms of, of uh, how quickly it will move between the different steps. Here at the bottom you find the triggers that will um, or the trigger source for the sequencer, which I will show you explain in a moment. The speed that it moves from one step to the other is dictated by the sequencer division here. So the uh, the more you move to the right and the faster it will go. And the more you move to the left, of course, you have a um, <clears throat> bigger division and therefore it will move slower. So <clears throat> now when I click play, you will see a green dot which will move between the different steps here, the different trigger for the sequencer. OK, let's search, um, uh, let's click play and see how it works. As you can see, it is moving quite fast. At the moment, so let's decrease the sequencer division like so. So slower already. So let's leave it to yeah, half. That would be fine. At the moment, it's playing um, <clears throat> um, pattern active pattern two. Let's put it on pattern number one and let's click um, uh, to get rewinding and let's click play again. So as you can see, it's playing the first audio channel because he's unmuted that and the second one is muted. And it will stay like so because I have not selected at the bottom here any trigger. So just to explain how it works, let's say that I click on the number one trigger and also number five. This means that as he moves from one trigger to the other or, st or from one step to the other, when he encounters a selected trigger or step, then he will swap the active pattern and the four unmute and unmute accordingly, the audio channel. So let's try. So as you can see, as um, as the sequencer is cycling through the different triggers or steps, 
as he encounters the one which are active he will actually switch between the active pattern or to the next one and will cycle through so and you know you can create your own sequences like that so you might decide you know change only once when it goes to part number one or change more frequently which would be a bit of too much but let's try anyway for the purposes of the demonstration <music> And of course, you can select um, the um, sequence division, as I mentioned, to make it faster or slower, depending on the division you want to play with. So, as you can see, it is pretty straightforward um, to use this sequencer inside Minute Master. Hope you found this useful, and as always, see you next time. Bye.